Yeah, what the fuck are they doing? It's like the runway. Do they? That's not a runway. That's a that's bluff. Like, well, like, it's just walks. I'm in one of my favorite places right now, St. Pete. One of my favorite people, my buddy Ryan. We met like 10 years ago when I first moved down here through strongman training and stuff like that. But uh, we both evolved over that time. One of the things Ryan has evolved into is a men's fashion expert. He's really, uh, he really teaches dudes how to dress well, but not just how to dress well, how to dress particular to your character, to who you are. He calls it bad boy style. Go ahead, brother. Well, yeah, like, like you always talk about the, you know, the archetypes, King Warrior, Magician, Lover. I kind of acquired that and started looking at that from like more of a style angle and really trying to pull people, not so much make them dress into something, but see who they are and kind of pull that out of them. And it started working really well with a lot of like clients I had and people I was just giving advice to, and even with myself. But one thing I learned was basically how an outfit that you put together and wear directly correlates with the type of girl that talks to you or the type of guy that, that talks to you. And all these things when you're learning style and learning you know, fashion, like they were really interesting to me because you know, if you're trying to make more money, get a better career, you want to attract the proper people into your life. Right. If you're trying to get laid or meet women, you want to attract a certain type of woman into your life. And that may or may not be a, a woman that just wants to sleep with you. Maybe you want one that's career oriented, goal oriented. Right. Not whatever, uh, whatever you know, you're wearing is going to attract the type of people to you. Yeah. That's so basically what you're saying. But not everybody is going to be comfortable just saying, oh, well, you need to wear a suit. So you got to wear a fucking suit. That's, right. Not everybody wants to do that. I don't like wearing suits personally. I haven't worn one ever really. But I know how to dress up. So with certain aspects of that, there's like basically two archetypes. Is like, you know, you have like king and uh, magician and lover. With fashion, there's like bad boy and Wall Street. So it's like you have the guys that wear suits all the time and the guys that kind of wear cool jackets, tighter jeans, like badass shoes. And they're like singing up on stage. Women are like, oh, we love you. So I wanted like a hybrid of that. Like I wanted to be like, oh, he looks like he's a boss, makes a lot of money. But he also looks badass like every girl wants to talk to him. Mm. So I kind of like something right in the middle. I mean, you can go far left and go straight suit, wear that all the time, but know that there's a lot of upkeep with that. It's very expensive. You gotta buy a right. lot of suits, or else you're gonna be wearing the same suit every day, which if you're on a budget, that's probably not your best option. Yeah. But so what about like, so yesterday I did a video, this young dude, he's in college, he's real focused on his, his grades, he's trying to go to uh, grad school to study neuroscience, he dresses like a fucking bum. Nobody <laughs> checks him out. But look, he doesn't have a lot of money either, too. Two things. I got two questions for our man. So I'm hooking you up, dude. I made a video for you yesterday, and now I got my expert boy here hooking us up with some real, real solid information. Number one, yo, how does he de de develop a style for himself? How does like somebody who's trying to be the strongest version of themselves, honor themselves, be different, but also stand out and not sell out. When I say sell out, meaning like, yo, I don't want to wear this. I want to wear something I want to wear. How do you develop a style about around what you want to wear, what really represents you, and how do we do it without breaking the bank? That's the other thing. Cool. Well, number one, it's everything I'm about to tell you is probably if you're a guy sitting at home and you're that guy wearing sweatpants, it's going to be way outside your comfort zone. So no matter what you're about to do, what you're gonna buy, what you're gonna wear, it's gonna feel weird as shit at first. So just know that going in, because you felt weird when you started dressing better. Dude, I gotta be honest with you, this guy saved my life in a lot of ways. He's a great <laughs> friend. Uh, when I say saved my life, I mean basically, I had been wearing basketball shorts and strength camp shirts forever. Since I met you. That's all you were. Yeah, that and, and the I short was no shorts. Better. I was no better. Yeah, so. we were kind of, we, that's the way we were at. But um, as my business started evolving, as my relationship started evolving, as my family started growing, it was almost like, well, you pointed it out to me. It was like, yo, you're kind of selling yourself short by not dressing a little bit better to represent you know, who you are, where you're at, and even your core values. Why don't you try something a little different? And when you introduced me to some types of clothing at first, I was like, dude, I'll never wear that. Don't even point to it. And I put it on and realized, wow, it really does make me feel better. So yeah, like so if you're sitting at home watching this, like know that it's gonna feel weird. So even getting out off your couch, going to the mall and maybe shopping in different stores, it's gonna be weird. You're not gonna be comfortable with it. But no, just like weightlifting and personal growth, you gotta get out of your comfort zone to do cool shit. So that's number one. Just know that going in. So everything but if you're trying to develop your personal style, 
don't just try to, like I said, don't try to just wear suits just because you think that that's what you should do. Like, because right. that's not you. That may not be, that may be who you are, that may not be who you are. But one thing you want to do is think about like your, what are you into? What are your sports? What are your hobbies? Like, so, so let's say you're really into football. Well, you don't want to dress like a fan. You want to dress like the top football player in the league. What does he oh, wear? Oh, wow, no doubt. Like, so if you're a football fan, instead of putting on a football jersey, you look at what they wear when they're giving press conferences. No doubt. Okay, that makes sense. Check Same. out the actual player and see what he's wearing. Now, th there's some, you know, don't go too into that because they may wear big gold chains and flashy yeah, stuff. That shit could get expensive, It could get expensive, and you might have to wear fake stuff, but that might not be your style either. So you want to kind of just say, oh, well, you know, he wears a lot of, like, you know, well-cut, like, jackets mm -hmm. and, like, maybe some nice jeans, and you can tell he's got a nice shirt on. Most likely all their stuff is tailored. So it's like, look at these little points of people that you see and kind of say, okay, well, maybe I can take, like, the jacket from that guy. And then, like, let's say, well, I kind of like watching basketball, too. Let's see what they're wearing. Or when they go, when they walk up. Because basketball guys have really good style when they're going through the game. Right, they can dress, like, real nice, but then still have on sneakers. Yeah, and shit so like that. That's look at how they're dressing and kind of marry that into, like, your own style. Then say, okay, what kind of music am I into? Do I like country music? Well, country music is more like cool cowboy boots and, like, some, like, frayed jeans and maybe, like, a nice tailored button-up. Okay, maybe you can take a nice jacket from your basketball heritage into, like, your button up with your jeans and your cowboy boots and you're looking mm -hmm. pretty good. I mean those are just short examples but like I like to take about 10 you know like do like a personal um, I don't know evaluation of like your interests and hobbies because mm -hmm. for me like I grew up riding bikes and racing BMX I didn't want to like I always had that athlete vibe so I didn't want to So when like, you so when a guy comes to consult with you the first thing you do is assess him yeah. see what his interests are what his values are what his aspirations are, and instead of trying to fit him into a style, yeah, you just you try to blend it around him. Yeah, bring it into him. I mean, and the now obviously some things are going to be a little different um, if they're like dressing like the guy that asked the question in his you know um, basketball shorts and t-shirt. Pretty much, you're doing it all wrong. So we got to start from a blank canvas here. So then you ask, okay, well, you know, what sports are you into? What hobbies you like? What music are you into? And the big Who's question is, you? what do you want to portray? Right. So like that's the big question. So it, none of that else could matter, but it's like what do I want to portray? If you want to portray rich, successful, making a lot of money, well you have to dress nice. There's no way around it. Now you can, there are people that are like, I wear what I want because I'm a millionaire. Well, if you're not a millionaire, you can't do that. So, um, yeah. Because you, you can't afford it. Yeah, you too. can't afford it. That's the thing. So yo, let's, let's rap about that though too because you know, looking good doesn't have to cost a lot of money, right? I mean, there's mm -hmm. options for it. So you want to get a jacket, maybe you taught me that maybe you could buy a cheaper jacket, but take it to the tailor for 10 bucks and have it hooked up a little bit. What are some tips for getting our hands on clothes that represents us, that we love, but is also affordable? Um, yeah, like number one is there's like kind of two rules that I tend to go by, and that's first, it's got to fit you perfectly. And a lot of people have this stigma with tailoring, they think it's really expensive. Well. I maybe spend 20 bucks at most at the tailor and that's if like I have to like redo a pair of pants to fit me. Hmm. But most of like your guys that work on Wall Street, most of your, you know, really wealthy people that wear really well fitting suits and clothes all the time, they're all custom made for them. Well that's really expensive. So it's like well if you can take a shirt that maybe costs you 20 bucks, go to a local tailor and spend 10 to get it made for and you. And then that shit look like it's made, made for you. And it looks like it's made for you and it costs <laughs> it. you 30 bucks. Yeah. So most people don't even know that that option exists. So that's like number one, is like yeah, make sure all big. your clothes fit properly. And some people fall are lucky and they fall into um, a body type where it actually fits companies very well. So right. they, don't, they don't need that. Dude, because clothes companies don't really make clothes for guys that lift too. No, I mean, what's the so a lot of American? times I'm having to get my, and I'm short as well, so I'm having to get my pants tailored for my quad size, mm -hmm. for the length, also upper body, you tend to be broad. So if you, a lot of the guys that watch this, they lift. So if the situation is that like, yo, you go to a nice, you buy a nice piece of clothing or something that you want to wear, that you know would look good, but it can't fit you, yo, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Yeah, maybe bucks, buy right? the next size up, take it to the tailor and have her, you know, or her or him, whichever. My The girl I use is like uh, an Asian lady and she just, she's like a magician with that shit. She's like, Shh, sh, sh. I get it back two days later and it's like, ooh, I, I, this looks fit. good. So fit is number one. Yeah, okay, fit is number one. And like I said, if you can't afford tailoring, just try to get the closest you can. You don't want extra fabric on the sides. You don't want to like, your shirt like blowing over the top of your belt if you if you're you know you're holding your pants up mm -hmm. just make sure it fits you nice and uh you know 
not a lot of extra fabric. Mm -hmm. Hello. So, uh, what about where to shop to buy clothing? Like, how do we get clothes that doesn't cost too much? Well, these are where, like, going back to getting out of your comfort zone, you're probably going to start shopping at places that you might not necessarily know exist or ever thought to walk into. Um, I don't know, the guy that asked the question, I don't know where you are from in the country or world. Mm -hmm. So there's a good chance you probably have an H&M. And mm H&M -hmm. is very, they call it fast fashion. What's that over here by the It's It's very bridge. cheap. Can you keep talking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very cheap. Um, that's where I would start because most of their stuff is really, it's already pretty tailored, but it's not going to last you a while. So you're going to buy clothes there that will last you like three, four months, you're going to have to go back and get it again. So yeah, that's true. It's like disposable clothes, but that's pretty dope. Like if you know you're going to go out and just once. Yeah, if you're going out, if you're like, man, I got to look good for this. I have this event dinner. There's going to be like, you know, I'm mm -hmm. a, a budding neuroscientist. And there's going to be other neuroscientists there. I got to look good. Well, H&M has suits for like a hundred bucks. Now, let me ask you a question though. So why do you want to stand out? Like, yo, if you're going to be a, a, bunch, a bunch of other dudes in your niche, meaning neuroscientists, students, entrepreneurs, uh, maybe not businessmen, but people who are of like mind, they all tend to dress the same way, right? Well, do we want to dress to fit in with our type? Like, a lot of times that means dressing down. Mm -hmm. Or what impetus do we have to dress up or to be a, a little bit more significant in our dress than most of the people in our niche, our crew, our cult, you know? Uh, yeah, so like you were saying, one of the things that I taught Elliot when he first uh, started dressing better is, is if everybody's dressed in a certain way, um, I believe you made a video on being memorable. You don't want to be too memorable. You don't be the guy that's like... You Eccentric. Wanna, yeah, you don't want to show up at the beach wearing a suit. <laughs> like, that's just weird. Like, you don't want to be that guy. So you want to be what I call one level above everywhere you're going. And to do this, you really just take a, take a mental note, like, okay, I'm going to uh, a fancy dinner. Well, when you say fancy, what's everybody there going to be wearing? Are they going to be wearing... Business you know, casual, the brown slacks, and the, the ill-fitting, not tailored. Right? Like, this is what they wear normally when I watch dudes, because now I pay attention. Yeah. So I have on the brown slacks, maybe some boat shoes, then then like the the button-up. My dad calls it hillbilly shirts, but they're plaid. <laughs> yep. So or that's tie, normal, that's man. When like I go to like the birthday party, like I go to kids' birthday parties for my children or events with college, that's how all the dads dress. So I end up going to like dad events. Yep. They're all dads. Yep. And uh, and in order to sort of be one level above, I gotta take off the business casual that yeah. I ever wear. Wear, wear some fitted jeans. Wear like a nice, like solid color t-shirt. Wear some nice shoes. Like just go like a little extra, not too much, but just a little bit. So that's like one thing. Um, and that's all like, I guess, geographic or demographic based. Cause if you're living in New York City, it's very hard to go one level above unless you have a lot of money. Right. Cause if you're- Say Petersburg, Florida, it's yeah. all right. So like if you're living in like <laughs> Idaho, you probably don't have to try very hard. Right. Like, cause most guys are wearing uh, t-shirts from high school and cargo shorts and like Nike, Nike sneakers that aren't even cool Nike sneakers. So like you just look at, okay, well, where am I going? What's the average dress gonna be there? And then you just go one step above that. So just for example, if it's a wedding, a lot of people go to weddings, they have no idea how to dress. I call it the average wedding guy suit. Like you were talking about, it's like baggy like um, dress pants. They always have that, that. Always ill-fitting. Ill-fitting, they always have that pleat <laughs> down the center. Yeah. Um, they always have like their old brown loafers. Sometimes they don't even match the belt, so it looks real weird. And then they have a shirt that's like what they have called male muffin top. So when you tuck it in, it like oh, the billows shirt over bags the up. Oh, I hate that. And then it like comes up. The yeah, back and, and then shit. in the back, it makes you look like a, a marshmallow man. So get it. that's like average. So you just want to go. Okay, well, let me just go get a nice pair of like dark, dark jeans, nice pair of dress shoes. Get my shirt tailored. Boom, you're good. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if they happen to be wearing ties, you go instead of just wearing a regular tie, maybe wear a slim tie with a tie bar. Mm -hmm. just, just something a little bit different. Not eccentric. Not over the top. Not something where. You're kind of drawing attention to yourself like a peacock. Yeah, you don't want to do the peacock thing. A lot of people get stuck in that. They want to wear like a cowboy hat or like, it's like, no. I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of, I've done dumb shit like that. So, <laughs> so you, it's fun to do that sometimes. You know, they say that the dress makes the man, but the way I used to say it in my videos, and those of you who watch my videos, you understand when I say, you put on a cape, you're going to feel like fucking Superman, right? So the, the way you carry yourself, you, your clothes is an extension of your posture even. The way you carry yourself, the way you dress, the way you present yourself, not only affects other people and how they're gonna react to you, but 
really what it does is it affects your core, it affects how you carry yourself, how you feel about yourself, and your own self-esteem. So I think conversations like this, ideas like this, the information that Ryan and I are providing you guys with today is essential to becoming a stronger version of yourself. To be a king, which you are, represent yourself like a king by carrying yourself like a king. And paying attention to your clothing is not shallow. Paying attention to your clothing and dress is not something that you do because um, you're trying to be better than anyone else or prove yourself or, uh, or, or anything beyond just express yourself fully. Be fully you. Be dignified in your own character and be the strongest version of yourself. So check it out. Ryan has got a YouTube channel. Handsome, is it Handsome Guys? No, it's my name still. Ryan McGinn, no doubt, that's perfect. This is Elliot Hulse. Yeah, I think it's ryanmcginn.com though. But if you search my name on YouTube. But anyway, you I'm gonna put a link it. down below. He puts up tips every day now, right? You can uh, four, to, four to five days a week. Four to five days a week. Try Fashion to. tips. Shit that you guys will find useful if you're trying to dress on a budget and you wanna design a style just for you. Ryan also has some products about how to design a style just for you, style basics. I think these things are important for you guys to know about. There's a link down below to yeah. see that also. Yep, yeah, 51 Handsome Guy Secrets is my main product. Cool, man. That'll be down below. Good, so that's it. I brought you my best friend today to hook you up with some fucking clothing tips so that you guys can walk in the royalty that surrounds you. You are kings dressed like one. Done.